Hello everyone, welcome to the ETAPS tutorial series. Today we learn about how about the ETAP grid system in detail. Every option or every uh, block menu bar we learn in this tutorial about all about grid system. So this is my ETAP. When you click on new model, the first window is appear for units. And we choose metric and Indian code. Okay. Now we today we learn all about this window, all about everything in this window. Okay. So let's start about first box. In first box we have two option: uniform grid and custom grid. Uniform grid we use when uh, when our structure have equal span, equal length of span. Right. Uh, like I have a plan of this like that and each span of this plan is equal in each direction is 5 meter each and this direction is 4 meter each at that condition that type of structure we use uniform grid lines uniform grid spacing as we know that in e tabs if we have to create a model first of all we have to create a grid for reference line for creating or drawing model so in grid lines we have two option custom and uniform in uniform first understand uniform what do you mean by number of grid line in x is 4 is default value it means this is the x and this is the y and z is the elevation in e tab this is the y this is the plan view top view okay z in elevation and this is the line first this is line second this is line third and this is line four this is the meaning of this four if you if your if structure have three span of each eight meter then you have to type in x direction four and x direction spacing is eight meter it means eight meter eight meter and eight meter same as in y direction four lines and each have spacing 4 meter you can change okay let's start with change and check we change in x six lines and six lines means we have option to create five span okay let's number one and the spacing in x is five meter let's check you can see here in the top view in x direction we have how many lines we type 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and how many span we uh, we have option 1 2 3 4 5 and the uh, spacing is 5 5 5 5 and in y direction uh, we choose default value you have four lines one lines two lines three lines and four lines four lines means we have three span each eight meter span okay no i'm not talking about the number of store in 3d view we're talking later first of all we talking about the plan okay let's again go to the grid system okay so i know you easily understand about this now you can easily understand this box uniform grid now next is the custom grid Custom grid means if your span is not uniform, one span is 4 meter, the next is 5, next is 6, like that. Then you choose custom. Custom, then edit. Okay, before custom in uniform, one more have option grid labels. We have each grid have labels, like this is a grid, and this grid have labels. This is 1. This is 2, ID of the grid lines 3 and this is A and this is B. If you want to start from C, you want to start from 10, you can change from here. Okay, or you can left to right, top to bottom. You can change the numbering and ID from here. Okay, let's go to the custom grid and edit custom grid. Now you can understand the whole window. This is the grid title. We have grid title G1. You can create multiple grids in e tab but when you create one grid then you go to modify then create again not from here okay inside the one grid you can create multiple grids that's why it's lock okay in this box 
we have g1 grid and the origin of this grid is 0 0 and the rotation of this grid is 0 if you put here value 10 degree this grid is rotate about 10 degree like that 10 degree okay and if you origin move origin is move and default origin is here x and y is 0 0 okay now you understand this box okay let's start here if we choose default value this locks because we th these are unlocked when we modify the grid when we create new grid these are locked then we modify this grid then this unlock okay default means is showing the def uh, your selected or you can say if you check mark on default uh, he shows all storage you define if you click on the user specify it means you want to you have uh, assign 10 story but you want to uh, visual uh, visualize or uh, visible only 5 story you can choose bottom to 5 ok now you understand this now the next this is the reference point and the reference plane uh, before this we can understand about this this is the bubble size bubble around the id sometime we have uh, span is very small and the id bubble is too large that's why overlap these id so what we do we uh, change the diameter of bubbles and colors for visibility okay okay now you can see here in if you check display grid data as ordinate the option is the spacing is showing as ordinate like first is zero first line at zero axis the second line is six meter third line is 12 and 4 is 18 because in x direction we have 6 meter 6 meter span so 6 plus 6 12 plus 6 18 you can change here we want the last span is around 8 so we choose 20 meter same as in y direction you can change click and you can end more and more and more span like that change the value okay if the you choose this option if you choose this option you have to add up the spacing 6 plus 6 12 plus 8 20 if you choose this grid spacing you can put only the spacing 6 6 6 8 4.5 like that and the last grid is 0 okay you can modify this so you understand this 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 and then now yeah this is the use you custom sorry uniform grid option now this reference line or reference plane assume this is your grid you define but you require a line one line here or one line here so you can reference point go to the reference point and value now we practically uh, use in software same as reference plane first of all we click ok and ok these are grid we have these are number of span 4 meter story now right click on the screen and modify you can create new grid or modify this grid now you can see here the option is on first of all this option you can change name you can change origin now i am changing origin uh, in x direction is 5 meter and rotation is 10 degree and ok and ok you can see here our grid is rotate about 10 degree okay and and our in x direction we uh, this point this point at origin 0 0 but we put x in 5 meter is moving at 5 meter not rotate about this origin rotate about x is equal to 5 meter now we go to the modify and change uh, 0 and 10 degrees also zero. the next is specify we have already four story but i want only two story click and okay and okay you can change here only showing two story the right click add modify modify grid and default okay now we can change reference plane okay we have three meter three meter story but i want to work at five meter but we have plane only three meter six meter 18 meter uh, 21 meter we don't have a plan plane view at 5 meter so what we do we reference plan plane at z direction is 5 meter because in plane in z direction and okay 
you can see first of all we change into elevation mode okay we have four story one story two story three story and four story but we don't have plane at 5 meter so this is the reference plane you can change from work from here at 5 meter by creating reference plane okay same as reference point if you a reference point add like x is 3 meter and y is 4 meter and okay and click okay and okay in you can change see in 3d view okay what value we provide x is one more we have to check the values of the reference line then we recognizing that point 3 meter and 4 meter okay in x direction 3 and 4 meter x direction in 3 it means it means somewhere here and y direction is 4 meter in somewhere here so you can see here by rotating this this line this line you can see here this line is modified by this reference line one more you, we can uh, understand by easily if we change reference point 3 to 0 okay at x is 3 line you can see here this is the we have the span of 8 meter not uh, uh, 3 uh, 3 meter this line is created by the reference line okay next edit modify okay this is done this is done this is done you can bubble size we can change 3000 and this is also a reference line if we put x bracket 3 and x is equal to x1 y1 is 3 3 and x2 y2 is 5 5 you can see a visible a extra line for reference line and bubble size is increase and the, this is the uh, incline line we created by x1 y1 and the uh, x2 y2 okay in grid system all is done now one more thing we go to the new model and create okay and so, so the span parameter is done now go to the storage grid if you have uniform storage height you can see here number of storage and typical and bottom height bottom floor height you can change if you custom grid and add it you can change a custom means 4 meter this is 3 5 meter and you can add right click and add or delete storage okay this is the custom spacing of each story and the next is this is the default structures like blank grid blank or grid system steel deck if your structure look like this type of structure you can click and change the property and work on this like you you have you want to create flat slab click on flat slab or oh, sorry click on flat slab and change the property according to your problem the what type of column beam loads and you can change and okay and work in very rapidly so this is all about the grid system if you have any doubt please comment and please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon thank you